Bonjour, I'm Miss Pryor, I'm Head of French at Burntwood and I'm going to talk to you about what it means to study French A-level with us and where it can take you in the future. First of all, what will you study and what skills will you develop? Well, French at A-level is a really varied course. It's more about discussions and debates in French society than GCSE, which is talking about yourself. So you look at issues like France's position on equality in marriage, multicultural society in France, benefits and challenges, are festivals still relevant to young people and celebrations and traditions? Is it true to say that France is a country full of people who go on strike all the time? Um, and those sorts of things. So as well as you developing your language, your communication skills, you also learn a lot about what it means to live within the French speaking world in the 21st century. On top of that, you develop your written French, especially your grammar and vocabulary. And you learn to write essays on topics such as films. And we study Les Choristes, which you might be familiar with from Lower Down School. And you also read a lovely book called Noé Moi and analyse that. And that's a story of a young girl who befriends a homeless person and how it changes their lives. So also, obviously, you work on your speaking. So the biggest part of your speaking exam is you actually researching a topic of your interest. So whatever it is, it doesn't have to be anything specific to the syllabus. And you study that and you present your own research at your speaking exam. Students in the past have put things such as uh, Islamophobia in French education, multiculturalism in the fashion industry, particular photographers, designers, historical figures, uh, the wave of yellow vest protests in France. So it's a great way to link it with your other A-level subjects. And you also develop those crucial research skills that will prepare you really well for higher education. Language classes at A-level are small groups, so you get lots of time to speak and ask questions. We're, they're varied lessons. You be, may be doing speaking, listening, reading, grammar, we put a lot of emphasis on fun and games to help you develop your confidence in the language. And a huge advantage of studying French at Burntwood is that we have a native speaking language assistant who works with us and gives everyone a, an extra lesson a week as part of a very small group to really develop your speaking skills and your confidence in that. How are you assessed? Well, everything's at the end of year 13, so you get plenty of time to build up your language skills to write those essays and make those presentations. Um, you do a listening, reading and translation into English paper. For the listening, you have control of the recording, so it's not just played out loud twice like at GCSE, so it's mo much more independent. You do an essay paper, which also includes translating into French, and then you do your speaking exam where you have a discussion about one of the topics from the course, and the main bit is you presenting and answering questions about your chosen topic of your research. Where do students go on to? Well, obviously, some of our students go on to study French at university, including at Oxford, but they also may choose to study other languages, which they can start from scratch using the learning skills they've built up by doing French at A-level. So things like Italian, Chinese and Japanese. Sometimes they'll do French alongside another subject. If you study a language at university, you normally get the chance to study abroad or work abroad for a year. So that gives you great opportunities to do that. We also find that because of the focus on communication skills, it makes a really good uh, subject alongside the competitive science subjects for things like medicine or pharmacy. And having a language as your third subject can really make you stand out as an applicant for those competitive courses. So it's really suitable for anybody, whatever you want to get into, with a wide variety of skills that you develop. Over the summer, if you want to study French with us in September, you should be making sure that you carry on working on your French. So, for example, something like Duolingo for a couple of minutes a day, just to keep things fresh in your head so you don't forget everything from year 11. Also, looking over your grammar, we'd advise you to get hold of a copy of this book, Shame's French Grammar. You can get an old second-hand copy uh, of an old edition for a couple of pounds on Amazon and that's really useful for preparing you for grammar and to use while you're doing A-level. Please do get in touch with us if you've got any questions and I look forward to seeing you in September. Au revoir!